Alright guys, this is Bowtech Evan Hunter. I messed up the last video and uh accidentally put the camera on my my little clip thing upside down for the second part of the video, so I'm starting it all over again. Because it just messed it all up. Well when I was doing that, I also got an arrow stuck. I can't get it out. This is another reason why I don't like this target. Too hard to pull the damn arrow out. It's too hard. Makes it retarded. Um I measured it. It's almost 25 feet to my door over here. It's at 24 and nine and a half inches, so it's probably about almost 11 and a half, maybe, to the door. Um, so I'll be shooting probably, I don't know, probably about right here, so 22 foot. It's not that, not that far away. I wish it was farther, but it snowed. It's cold outside. Um, so, I'm not going to be shooting out there. It's just too cold. Too windy. But, I'm going to be shooting at this thing. I'll shoot at the deer head 70, <clears throat> 75. And uh, the uh, this left side 40 above the antler. And this 40 above the right side antler. For the first three shots. I said I was going to be shooting. And... Uh, Letting you guys see how I shoot, <clears throat> since <clears throat> I don't know if I'm shooting good or not. Um, I uh, got my bow from Adam's Archery in uh, Milan, Michigan. And uh, the guy that, you know, had me shoot a couple of bows and everything, I went in there for the insanity. And uh, I uh, shot the um, Hoyt Spider Matthews uh, Creed. And the Bowtech Insanity. And I walked in there planning to get the Insanity. And uh, I just, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like how it felt. Um, I didn't like the Matthews the the most. It was the one that I, I least liked. And uh, man, I think I might have bent this arrow. I hope I didn't. When I do actually get it out of there, I'll have to see if it's straight. Well, so the one I liked the least was the Matthews, and the second least was the Insanity. And I shot the Hoyt Spider, and I liked that one. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, you said uh, that you had uh, the Bowtech experience. So I thought, oh, that'd be pretty cool. You know, I get to shoot that one too. So I, I picked the Hoyt Spider, but I thought it was too light. And uh, not to mention it kept slapping my arm every every, I don't know, every other shot it was slapping my arm so um i got the to shoot the bowtech experience and i liked it from the second i shot it from the second i picked it up i thought it was quite heavy but i kind of wanted it to be quite heavy because i want it to be a little bit more like it's in my hands and you know i'm 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 pretty big i'd i'd say you know being almost six four you know 200 pounds um i didn't want a light bow so Anyways, I got the the Bowtech experience, and I've I've loved it since you know since I got it. I've been shooting as much as I can, trying to get better, and uh, I just I, it's never slapped my arm or anything. It's it's been perfect to me so far. Um, well, I'm gonna start shooting, and uh, you guys let me know if. I'm doing something wrong. Got a couple of tips from the guy at uh, Adams Archery to shoot better. So I'll be doing that, trying to get better at consistency. So here we go. I 
I usually, you know, set up my, my hand first on the grip and put my index finger on the front of the grip and then I lock my corner knuckle behind my jawbone underneath my ear and then I set my kisser button and then I obviously put my nose on the string here and then match up, you know, the peep sight around the sight and then level out my bubble, aim, and release. A lot of people make this look easy. Um, I don't know if I am or not, but um, it seems pretty easy to me until I'm actually sighting on the, the actual target that I'm trying to hit. Besides that, everything else getting set and ready to shoot is, is fairly easy. It's just, you know, actually pulling the trigger when you want to because sometimes you anticipate that you're going to be on the target when you're not. And uh, another thing that I'm having a problem with is follow through. Like, you know, when you release to follow through with it, sometimes I'm, I mess up. It's probably one out of five times that I mess up on my follow through. So set my hand on my grip, set my hand on my anchor point, set my kisser, line up my peep with my sight, level my bow. And that's the time I thought it was going to be on the target, and when I released, it wasn't. So it's a little bit high left. shots and take this release off. Whew. Cold. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put my coat on first. Alright. Yeah, two minutes until the 10 mark. 10 minute mark. So, Alright, so uh, this is all why I'm cold too. So, right there on the 75, almost dead center. Then we did the second shot here. I told you I messed up on my uh, my uh, release follow through, and it went high. And then uh, over here, this next one, I did it pretty pretty good, just like the first one on 75. Pretty pretty damn good. Um, that's the arrow that's stuck. I got to get it out. I don't know how long it'll take me to get it out because I've heard a lot of people with these targets that it takes, you know, time for the target to get worn out before you can do anything. I might have to ask my brother-in-law if he's got a, a, a arrow puller. Maybe he does. I don't know how his target is, so I don't know if he needs one or not. But <laughs> I literally put the box on the ground, put both my feet on it. And was trying to yank it out. It didn't work out too well. So, fun. Um, and I got these, uh, the arrows that I shot with it. I got them both out pretty easy. I shot six arrows on the last video before I messed it up. And uh, fit it all in the 10 minute mark. So I don't know what happened this time, why it took so long. Maybe because I was explaining messing up that video. But uh, I pulled them arrows out. The five pretty easy, and then that six one just got stuck. I don't know what the deal is. I hate this target, but uh, anyways, um, this is shooting in the cold, um, trying to be as realistic as I possibly can while hunting. Um, I'm gonna turn this video off because it's getting a 10 minute mark, it's hard to upload with my phone with more than 10 minutes. So, um, all right, you guys have a good one.